and Jeremy, and we are here today to give you all our reactions and ideas about the hug scene in Arcane between Cupcake and Vi. Yeah, so we're super excited. Uh, we freaking love this scene, and we've watched it more times. Then we probably should admit. <laughs> yeah, we also watched it in 25 different languages. Yeah, that's accurate. So yay! All right, well, we'll get right to it and share our impressions with you all. All right, so um, here we are coming into the scene from, first of all, you can see Vi's face a little bit, but her face coming into this, she was like making all kinds of like grimace kind of faces and right before this time that we're starting it at there was what was the atmosphere like it was extremely ominous it was extremely dreading it was very uncomfortable which is not what you expect from piltover right we've seen piltover as this glorious city it's so pretty and everything and it's just like not yeah, it's like as they're entering into yeah. Piltover, like their entrance into Piltover <laughs> already has this spooky ambiance. And I like to point out that the lights flicker, yeah. and uh, that's really a spooky thing. The lights flicker while Vi is making all these faces. So, you're, so it seems like, hey, we're going to head over to Piltover and we're going to make everything better. But then when you look at the atmosphere, the atmosphere is kind of dark, kind of spooky, very foggy. And the light flickers and there are a few things that th that flickering light makes me think of um, first of all I really think it's symbolic for them entering the city of progress and being like oh yeah this is like a tech savvy place yeah. where everything is light and wonderful mm -hmm. and at that time the light flickers and it's like oh but maybe technology over there isn't as great of a thing or isn't as great as we think it could, would be. And then the other thing that having that light flicker made me think of as a Supernatural fan is like when the lights flicker in Supernatural and uh, that means there's like a demon or ghost or some kind of Supernatural creeper uh, hanging around and so when the lights flicker they're like get the salt because they use the salt for protection. So anyone else who watches Supernatural leave a comment and be like yeah. <laughs> so basically what you're saying is that you're triggered and also Vi needs salt. Yeah, Vi needs salt. <laughs> That's what she's thinking about. She's like, uh, if only I had brought my freaking salt with me. Uh. Oh, man. And I've never seen Supernatural, so I don't get it, but it sounds interesting. Yeah. It's like every time it's lights flicker. Yeah. So the looks of Vi's been making are kind of like pained, like something's mm -hmm. wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so here she's like, first of all, they stopped. <laughs> yeah, she's, she just like stops, right? And then she's like, but they though. But they though. But cupcake face? Yeah, so first of all, she stops and it's just, you know, they're walking along and someone at the end stops. It's kind of mm -hmm. weird. Um, yeah. It's like, what's going on? Yeah. But Caitlin can, looks like she can tell something's wrong. Mm -hmm. She's worried and mm -hmm. she has like that look of concern on her face. Like, oh, she's like, I'm not quite sure I want to hear what's happening. Yeah, yeah. And notice like she doesn't ask either. She, she just like looks. She just stops and looks. Yeah. And I think it's that also says a lot about her like mm -hmm. trust for Vi. And yeah. she's kind of like, if she's stopping, there must be a reason. That's right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, Ellen. Bye. I can't leave her. Okay. So, Caitlin, so doesn't say anything. Nope, Echo is the one that says something. And you're an Echo fan girl through and through. Yeah, so Echo is the one who, like, asks. And it, it kind of makes sense because they're so close. Of course. Like, he's like, hey, what's going on? Um, can you guess about Echo, though? Oh, yeah, Echo. <laughs> I can guess about him. So, Echo, like, he reminds me of my little cousin that I saw him when, like, he was a little toddler, like, toddling around. Um, oh, obviously Echo wasn't a toddler when I first saw him. He was just like a little kid. But, like, because I saw him as a little kid, I was like, oh, that cute little kid, that little sweet boy, he's so precious. And, like, now, even though he's grown, just like my cousin is grown now, and, like, 
I had a mustache. I don't know if he still has a mustache. <laughs> but, like, he's, like, a grown man at yeah. this point, And I'm still like, oh, that's my baby cousin. <laughs> and I'm the same way about Echo. I'm like, oh, it's baby Echo. He's so sweet and precious. Like, whatever he does, I'm like, that's little Echo. Oh. Yeah, that's how I look at Vi, though, man. She's looking down. Like, she's just like, this, this looks like sucks. turmoil. Yeah, she's like, this sucks. I don't want to do this. But I'm, like, doing this out of duty. Well, out yeah. of a sense of duty. Yeah, no, well, I mean, I definitely can understand that. Mm-hmm. Start again. I can't change her. I have to try. Oh. Oh. Mm-hmm. And then we have Cupcake, who still not saying anything, but she looks down for a second. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, look at that face. No promises. But she says no promises. Let's she's like just... very clearly like this is some risky shit I'm about to go and do and I'm gonna go do it anyway. And this is a nice hug with her sweet baby echo. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing about it is you're the you're the younger of your sisters, so you're not an older sister, but for an older sibling, I can relate because, you know, essentially I would wanna do what I could. I would believe my Little sister could do absolutely nothing wrong, you know, thinks she's done some pretty wild things, but she also feels extremely responsible because what what happened at the end of Act 3, I mean Act 1 of, rather, Episode 3, she said to her, you're a jinx, right? So Vi's like, hey, listen, I created this, I need to be able to do this. If anyone can stop it, it's me. Mm-hmm. So I can definitely understand that, hey, I'm responsible, I want to get us taken care of. Also, this really sucks, and I don't want to do it, but I have no choice. Yeah. And then you get that nice little hug. With Echo and then it does seem like she feels really bad about oh, yeah. this. She does. She feels really guilty. And I can see like I am a younger sibling. Mm-hmm. Um I could totally see my sister like definitely gets very protective mm-hmm. and um I could see how she would feel really bad if I went down some kind of wild path like Jinx did <laughs> would kind of be like trying to do something um to help. Yeah, definitely. And then that look! Yay! That look! And that cupcake! Oh my Yay! gosh. And like, and we were trying to figure out, between the two of us, we had a whole discussion trying to figure out what that look meant. And when I first saw it, I thought that she was trying to say with her eyes, like, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. But over time, I really don't think that it's necessarily a sense of apology. Mm-hmm. I think that she's trying to, like, express to her sweet cupcake like how it is she's feeling and just being like yeah like I don't want to do this I don't feel good about leaving you alone uh but it is what it is and Mm -hmm. yeah I don't think it's apology I think it's just like like feel what I'm feeling just know that this is hard for me yeah no it's definitely not apology look but and then you get look this look right here you remember how initially she just looked concerned, now she looks like really like just sad. sad she now. looks like she could just cry. She does. Days. You can see look at the eyes. Look at that glow. Oh, oh, so I so 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 cupcake. I know, right? Cupcake protection squad. You're cupcake protection squad. Yes. Oh, down. she looks oh, she down. Her eyes. Yeah, she does. She looks down. She closes her eyes. I think eyes. she's like trying to like muster, like, mm-hmm. all right, I, I, like I don't want to do this, mm-hmm. but I have to. Yeah, I was like, all right, it is because what it she's is. respectful. Mm-hmm. She's all these wonderful things, but she still looks extremely respectful, and that's mm-hmm. like, um, just yeah. And here we go. And then she just like falls into her. Uh huh. Right. You just see her fall in, and you see Vi, and Vi's just kind of like, wait a minute, and then she then holds her. I, I'm pretty sure Vi's not used to being hugged. Like no, this. but trust like, fall. Yeah, I was the one who came up with that. I know. Trust fall hug. I know, <laughs> but still, I want to say it was fun. Because like, you were the one who pointed out that yeah. she did. Because I like I thought they just like came together. Nah, no. but you were the one who pointed that she like leans people. forward. Look at yeah. that! Look at that! Lunge. Lunge. It's like a lunge. She's like lunging. She's like yeah. I'll never let like you go. Like a praying mantis move. Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> and yeah, she lunges into her. And yeah, it's like a trust fall. She's saying like, I trust you. Mm-hmm. And she's just squeezing the heck out of her and be like, I want to meld with you. Hashtag trust fall. <laughs> yeah, trust fall hug. I'm just going to like, trust hug. One more time. I just, see, look at her. She's going. Yeah. And she's, oh, oh, gosh. And then she just, oh. yeah, I know. It's just awful. Oh, it's also, oh. <laughs> it's sad. It's bittersweet. It is. It's very bitter.
bittersweet. It's so bittersweet. Can you imagine, like, hugging someone you care about that much and being like, I might never see you again? Yeah, well, that's, that's the thing. Feels. This is, this in this world, in this universe, mm-hmm. there is a high possibility at this point that these two will never see each other again. Mm-hmm. Right? So this is why this means so much. Yeah, at this point, Vi didn't even know where Cupcake lives or anything. Nope. Um, Cupcake doesn't know how to, she kind of, like, knows some of Vi's hangouts. Yeah. Um, but doesn't necessarily know, like, how to contact her. No. So, yeah. And she could get herself Vi. killed. Mm-hmm. That's true. And, she, yeah. And they both know that she might, um, become either very harmed or be killed mm-hmm. by one Cupcake. Yeah. And what's his name, too? Silco. 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 Cupcake. Uh, okay, okay. This is what I like to share. I'm going to share. <laughs> okay, you so share. So she says, um, it's been real cupcake. For me, I found that to be very, very, very telling. Mm-hmm. Um, because, yes, saying it's been real is a way that some people say goodbye. Mm-hmm. But it's also, if you really analyze the wording, she's saying it's been real. It's like, there's something real between us. Mm-hmm. And then she, of course, calls her Cupcake, which we all know it means, like, little cutie pie. So she's, like, using some affectionate verbiage. Um, And if you look at... Oh, yeah, and something else I forgot about the hug in general Mm -hmm. is, like, when you go to hug someone like that, it's not, like, an acquaintance. (laughs) Nope. You don't go to be like, hey, it's been nice seeing you for lunch. Like, (laughs) like... No, the people you hug like that is, like, your family member. If mm-hmm. you haven't seen them in a while mm-hmm. or you're not going to see them for a while, mm-hmm. you hug, like, a close friend that you've grown up with, mm-hmm. like, when you haven't seen them for five years. Mm-hmm. It's, you know, big moments where you feel really safe and comfortable and connected to someone. That's how you trust all... You don't even trust all hug, but you, like, squeeze them with yeah, both you arms like tight. that. That's how you hug someone that you, like, really feel close to. <laughs> but then here, you also... Um, see that she has her hand on the back of Sweet Cupcake's neck and like you don't do that even with some family member you don't do that even with some close friend you do that with someone who you're romantically like connected to you're just like playing with the back of their neck or something and you hold on to their neck like I definitely feel like that's something that you do um, to express more so a romantic feeling. Anything mm-hmm. you wanted to add? It's so beautiful. Oh, and look at it. Vi's Vi almost eyes. looks like she wants to cry. She, too, there's though. tears. I that. see them pooling up in the yeah, bottom of okay. her eyes. Yeah, that is true. Because usually when you thought, it's like, okay, they're closed. But no, right now they're open. And look at her, like, eyebrows. They're like this. They're going up in the yeah, middle in a pained look. Oh, yeah, she looks pained. Definite pained And then we get... Thanks for everything. We get okay, the okay. 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 <laughs> a lot more. Let's start with the words first. Thanks for everything. Do you want to share about that first? So it's interesting because if we go back a few episodes and we have that scene where Caitlin, you know, she saves Vi, uh, essentially she doesn't say thank you, right? She, yeah, she's like, she's like, she says, um, do you ever say thank you or something mm-hmm. like that? Yeah, she's like, do you ever say thank you? <laughs> and then, you know, she's like, can you help me? And then she's like, she says, are you helping me up? And so saying thank you. And then she still helps her up. Yeah. Um, but she doesn't say thank you, right? right. So yeah. this is a really big moment for Vi because she's not just thanking her for this, she's thanking her for everything they've yeah. been through. And I remember I was joking, I was like, oh, she's trainable. Like, she's oh, trainable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's trainable. <laughs> but, um, but really, like, if you think about it, and not in, like, a joking, like, oh, she's trainable way, like, I'm totally joking when I say that. Um, I know, you are. But yeah. But, um, but really, like, in relationships, when someone asks you to communicate to them a certain way and speak a certain language, like, it's very respectful to be like, okay, this is the language you speak, this is how you ask me to communicate to you, and I'm listening and following through and communicating in a way that you can understand my appreciation. Yeah, and it's, and also, too, it's just a really big character development for Vi, though, Mm -hmm. because another thing to point out is that she has always had everyone else's backs, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Vander had hers for some point, too, but in their gang and everything, she's always been the one to protect and stuff, so to actually have someone protect her, to look out for her, 
it's like mind blowing. Mm -hmm. You know, and I just it's like a cupcake space. And she's been alone for so she has been long. like she's she in prison in for prison. a long time. And she they kept her in her own cell by herself. They beat her talks, and that's the only like time that she had communication with someone. No mm -hmm. one was coming to visit her. No mm -mm. one was coming to look after her, see her. Oh. So yeah, she definitely was isolated for a long time. And now for her to be saying, like, thank you for everything. And really, Caitlin has done a lot for her. Oh, yeah. If you think about it, like, if it weren't for Caitlin, she would still be in that prison. She still be in Caitlin, Caitlin saved her life mm -hmm. multiple times. And mm -hmm. Vi is just, like, like, so as much as she feels responsible for mm -hmm. doing, I definitely think that she feels a sense of responsibility for Caitlin, too, mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. being good to Caitlin, mm -hmm. who has done so much, like, Save her life multiple times, mm -hmm. done so much mm -hmm. to care for her. Mm -hmm. And so finally, it's like, how do you even thank someone for that? And she just, like, she that's what she's trying to do. She's trying to get across, like, you've done so much for me. And mm -hmm. uh, here it is. I have, I have something else I have to go take care of. So let's talk now about the little nuzzle. Oh, yeah. So to go see first, um, first Vi, we noticed... That first Vi does it. Yeah, she so does. So she gets in close and nuzzles, <laughs> and nuzzles um, Caitlin first mm -hmm. as she's talking. And it's pretty subtle, so if you don't pay close attention, you can definitely miss it. Oh, for sure. Mm -hmm. And like it, it's gone. Yeah. And then um, Caitlin nuzzles her back and it's like, oh my yeah. god, it's so cute. But she's like so sad, and but she does look at her face. Oh my god. And she's, like, really pulling her in. She is. And she's so like, when you talk about, like, who do you hug like that, like, we hug each other like that, mm -hmm. and we've been married for two years. So that's the only person I hug like this. Mm -hmm. It's, like, you just hold them in really close, and we, like, nestle each other like that. If I'm maybe sitting in the other room for a few hours, and I haven't seen you in a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and I come over, I need a hug! <laughs> and we just hug each other and hug, and we, like, nestle each other's cheeks like that really sweetly uh it's such a sign of just i want to be as close to you as i humanly possibly can i want to drink in your essence mm -hmm. i want to absorb you into <laughs> myself uh because you are just so important to me little eyebrows <laughs> yeah her little eyebrows <laughs> it's like really sad she it definitely is, is sad. and her eyes are closed I feel like people close their eyes sometimes when they just can't take it, mm -hmm. take in everything that's happening. They're just like, uh, I just need to process yeah. only you, only this, yeah, and just be here with you and take in everything mm -hmm. I can from this mm -hmm. hug. Mm -hmm. Absorb. Like I joke when we hug each other, I'm like powering up. Do, 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 do. Yeah. It's kind of like plugging into a little battery. You're trying to really get all you can out of your connection time, that human connection on a deep level it really is mm -hmm. so beautiful and so bittersweet you are so cool <laughs> and but what i like about this aside from that but i don't like that <laughs> that can just go i mean i love jinx and she's great but just go for now <laughs> just go for what now. i like about this is like you see this angle and we know that caitlin's a little bit taller than Vi, but in this she looks a lot smaller mm -hmm. you know and that's very like symbolic and also it looks very grounding you know yeah. when they're holding each other like this yeah it's just and look at echo echo's turned away like he's giving them a moment mm -hmm. you know he's like all right i'm not gonna walk away but i'm gonna look away you know give you two what you need because you know as we've mentioned this could be the last time these two ever see each other mm -hmm. and also the last time he could see Vi. and sweet baby boy echo is very respectful <laughs> that way yeah. <laughs> he can do no wrong he can but do also no wrong. like so this is where I thought this <laughs> this is this, <laughs> this is, is it. Old. So um this is the what time you've all been waiting for. Where this is watching the season was the first time that I was like, ooh, Vi has a nice ass because <laughs> like and you can't really tell as well here, but like the angle and it just like gets closer and closer and closer. Sanji! <laughs> Like, oh, her, she's... Now, there it is! There it is! There it is! 
I was like, oh yeah, her body's like, nicer than that. Yeah. yeah, they are like one person. This right like now. this is so touching this and so beautiful. Went to become uh, one. That's what this and moment is right yeah, now. Yeah, really, it is, and just oh, it's so sweet and so sad at the same time. And then you get your favorite shot that you want to see in the close up version. Yeah, exactly. It's just so beautiful. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yes, we know. <laughs> There's nothing no, just yeah. about that hug. I'll throw that out there. It's like I'll never let you go. And then she lets her go. Ah! It's so sad. But I love that slight little like if this is another one of those moments, if you blink you'll miss it. And she mm -hmm. just takes her thumb and just right on Caitlin's cheek and just look at her face. Like you don't do that to someone if you're not romantically really. And there's enamored. echo being respectful still. Like a respectful <laughs> echo gives the best. <laughs> So with this part, when he does that to her cheek, or she does that, <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. it's not Echo, it's not Echo, it's Vi, sorry, I was talking about Sweet Baby Echo a second ago, no, when Vi um, does that to Caitlyn's cheek, it reminds me, there it is, me. oh, there it is, ah! <laughs> so cute, oh my gosh, can, can we like, it's so cute, but look at her and face, put it as a background on like my computer, my phone, and everything. Yeah, possibly. I kind of want this like everywhere. So you want sad <laughs> cupcake though? But it's such a sweet and tender moment it that it just makes my heart happy. Like yeah. look at they're looking in each other's souls yeah. for a moment here. And then this reminds me of the moment in Casablanca. Um, and I always have you to do it because you have a Bostonian <laughs> accent, so you can do it perfect. Let's hear it. Yeah. He is looking at you, kid. Looking at it. He's looking at you, kid. <laughs> so satisfying. But that's like, to me, that's what this moment just like screams. Yeah, agreed. Like, ah, uh, like I'm looking at you, kid. Yeah. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. it's yeah. like it's just the two of them. Like, Echo's not even there, you know? Yeah. Like, like bye, little honey, little mama. Yeah. Oh. I'll see you maybe never, and that's real sad. Oh, I don't want to think about it. Yeah. And she just walks off. It's very oh, foggy, okay. by okay, the so way. She also, yeah, it's super Holy massively smokes. foggy. Holy smokes. Yeah. So she's looking down the whole time, like, well, dragging her heels. Mm -hmm. Like, you see... Walking really slow. Like, if a little kid got a bad grade, that's how he would be walking <laughs> home from school. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah you're not going to rush home. Uh, I'm going to take like, this. Like, <laughs> this sucks. This is awful. I'm going to get grounded. This is the worst thing ever. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of how she's walking It is, away. too. Yeah, and her, like, shoulders are just, like, down. Yeah, she's, like, hunting. She usually holds herself up pretty straight for the most part. She looks defeated. Yeah, that's true. Uh, <laughs> oh, and she's like, well, at least I have sweet Echo here. Not that she's attached to him emotionally like I am. Yeah. <laughs> and she looks down. Kind she's of like, look at her! She, when she looks at Echo, it's kind of like a resolution. Yeah. It's kind of like, okay, I have to resolve yeah. the fact that I'm about to do this. Yep. And then, yeah, she looks down again. She just, like, she looks does, this way. and you know what? That's mirroring. It is mirroring. It That's is. what, like, couples who are really driving, yeah. they, oh, look at us doing it right now. <laughs> Not even on purpose. But they'll, like, when they're out on a good date, like, they'll yeah. drink out of their drink at the same yeah. time. They do the same kind of actions at the same time. Yep. And uh, that's what she's, they're both like mirroring the same kind of Those body objective. language. And her shoulders yeah. are also going down too. Oh my gosh, that's oh, so that's symbolic and sad. Of oh. someone who's like very proper, yeah. actually a little haughty, she's... like she's, and I say haughty, not oh, say hot e, <laughs> Very like haughty personality, not like, yeah. Anyway, I mean, she's not too bad. She has that like very elegant way about her. That's what I mean to say. Uh, yeah. But she was like kind of hunching a little there. Oh. Uh, they... And then, yeah. Ah! Ah! So, yeah, that. And then, um, do you want to share about what comes next? And right after that, oh. those, those big lights. <laughs> so, then. you know, as we go, Caitlin is just really not happy on her, her face, so she's walking, and then. All of a sudden, we see this burst of light, and I'm like, that's the way she didn't want to get flashed. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, that's not the way in which she would have wanted to no. get flashed. No. <laughs> and all jokes aside, though, that yeah. moment is so 
bittersweet. It like tears my heart out. It does. Mm. It does. And as we mentioned before, we watched it in like twenty five different languages. <laughs> What? Oh, we yeah, we watched it. it in, yeah, <laughs> we it mentioned it before, but there's like 25, 25 languages. It's just, oh my god. And it's just like so good. And you can still watch it. Life. And you can still pick up things, even though you've seen this like a bunch of times. It's like, oh, did you know about this? Oh, did you see that? Mm-hmm. They just did such an amazing job, like how they play this out. Yeah, it's so sweet. Oh. It's so sweet and like so heartbreaking at the same time. It is. And I just, I love how she doesn't say anything, though. I know some people, like, I was reading some comments on stuff on the scene, and people want her to say something but this action this is so much more emotional her saying anything Mm -hmm. to be honest just because of how she's pulling her in like this there's no words can be said what can you say but like and also it's it's just so respectful yeah she's so respectful like this is what you feel like you need to do and even though i want you and i could really use your help on this mission that i'm about to go into and about Mm -hmm. to handle I respect what you want and need enough, or what you feel like you have to do enough to let you go, and that takes so much strength. Like, Mm -hmm. Caitlin really has just so much strength, so much admiration and love for Vi Mm -hmm. that it's just incredible. It really, really is. And Mm -hmm. they've, like, been through this together, so for this to, like, happen, you know, she's just, like, not like, oh, where the hell are you thinking about? Like, she's just, like... Not that I don't like it, but I respect what you're going to do. Mm-hmm. And I think that she kind of knows that if she said something, it would have only made things harder for Vi. Yeah. She could tell that this is already hard on yeah, Vi. So she definitely. doesn't want to see Vi hurt. Yeah. She doesn't want to make anything worse than it already is. Yeah. Like, she knows that this is a rough moment mm-hmm. and not something that Vi really wants to be doing. Yeah. But feels like she has to and she's going to do everything she can make it a little bit less painful and difficult for oh, her. She's so cute. She's like cupcake. She has a face like a cupcake. Oh, Yeah. So our overall thoughts on the scene, I think we love it. Yeah. There's so much happening in it. There's so much raw, sweet, tender, loving emotion. Mm-hmm. And it, that's all I can think to say about it is that I just really love that scene. We've watched it a bunch of times. What were you saying yeah. about the animators? So what's so awesome is that, you know, whoever animated this really did their research. They really pay attention to detail. Because I've definitely seen enough shows, games, animated stuff, what have you. And it's someone that they're interested in, but they just hug, right? You have the hand on the neck. You have the, nu- the nuzzling. You have – it's just – beautifully well animation and it makes it feel even more powerful and more unique because of the style that they went to to show it like i said no words were said and no words need to be said because it was just that powerful and i love it even though it makes me want to cry <laughs> <laughs> yes so well, thanks so much for watching in this scene with us and you know giving us your ear <laughs> because we could talk about this Forever. Oh, we watched it in 25 different languages, like I mentioned before. I can't say it louder. Oh, yeah. Well, if you're in, we watched in 25 different languages before. There's a YouTube clip that literally has this scene <laughs> in 25 different languages. It was kind of fun to hear. It all is. Voices. It really yeah. is. If you're interested in seeing it, I highly recommend checking it out. But yeah. yeah. So, yeah, sending you all so much love. Until next time. Latest.